Hey everybody, this is BuilderDude35, and this week I'm going to be teaching you how to use the high tactic compass sensor. So, the high tactic compass sensor, it's pretty self explanatory. Just like humans use compasses for navigation, a robot will also use a compass sensor for navigation. And how this compass sensor works is it gives you a degree value 0 to 359 degrees to tell you how far off of a given direction that your robot is. And it allows your robot to navigate to a different direction. And they're used extensively in WRO soccer because it allows the robot to know which direction it's heading and which goal it's about to score on. Because you wouldn't want to, you know, score on your own goal. That would be pretty embarrassing. So anyway, when you're building with the compass sensor, remember that High Technic re recommends that you place the sensor 10 to 15 centimeters away from any motors or batteries or the EV3 brick or any electronics, therefore, because they all generate weak magnetic fields that can interfere with the compass sensor's reading. So just remember that place it away from any of those electronic parts. So anyway, now I'm going to open up my software and show you the features of the compass sensor. So this is the High Technic EV3 block, and this is about as simple as programming gets when it comes to this block. So it has two operating modes, Absolute Heading and Relative Heading. I'll explain what each of these do in just a second. In Absolute Heading, all we have here is this data wire that stands for the heading, which is the degree value 0 to 359 degrees, and this is exported out to another EV3 block through a data wire, and this is a numeric value, so just keep that in mind. When we switch it to relative heading, we still have this heading here, but we also have the addition of target, and here you're going to type in any number that you want between 0 and 359, and I'll explain what this target is in just a second, and because I'm going to be explaining what these different modes do right now. The first mode of this compass sensor is absolute heading. What this basically does is it sets north as zero degrees and measures the robot's direction or heading relative to north in degrees in a value from zero to 359. And as you move clockwise away from north, the degree value will increase until 359, which is the maximum. And it's important to know that north is zero East is 90 degrees, south is 180 degrees, and west is 270 degrees. The second of the two operating modes is relative heading, and it's different from absolute heading because instead of taking north and using that as the reference point to calculate the robot's heading, what happens is you actually decide which point that the robot is going to use to base its heading off of. In the target section of the programming block, what you do is you type in a value 0 to 359 degrees, and in this case I have 175 degrees, and that becomes the new north, so to speak, and that becomes 0, and then the robot bases its position off of that rather than north. This is going to be useful in WRO soccer because what you're going to be able to do now is set your compass sensor so that whatever direction your opponent's goal is is going to be 0, and your robot will be able to navigate to that point instead of just say north. So now the opponent's goal is zero degrees and your robot knows to navigate to zero degrees. Thank you for watching my tutorial this week. If you liked it, be sure to check back every Thursday for more WRO tutorials like this. And I'll see you next week. Bye.